Is it in the kitchen? Yay! What are you making today? Yay! Deb has been really looking forward to this. <laughs> We're making something delicious. So I've got some sweet and spicy chicken wings. Yeah. Not too hot, um, but lovely, sweetly spiced chicken wings. Um, I've got some chicken wings here. You can keep them big as they are. I've got, got them here or you can cut them in half. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use them as they are, lovely and whole. And then I'm going to add some yogurt to a marinade. Um, and the reason for yogurt in a chicken marinade is it really tenderizes chicken as it marinades is it in the fridge. it's got like an acidic-y exactly. thing that breaks it? It's very clever, isn't it? Very clever. I think I've tried to stay away from using too much lemon. Because right. again, it does the same thing. But if you marinate too long with lemon, it can break down the fibres too much and almost have the adverse effect. Oh. So yoghurt, oh, wow, yoghurt tenderises that. really well. I like to use milk when I'm um, marinating lamb, like say lamb shish or lamb chops. But I like to use yoghurt when doing uh, the same she's thing with blown chicken. my mind. Twice. <laughs> like, I stick lemon... So do, am I sticking my lemon with my chicken for too long? What no, would you do? it's fine. I, I think with lemon, I kind of like to leave it no longer than like four hours okay. in okay. the fridge. Around it, but I like this marinade After to kind that, of... what will happen to the chicken? I just think it can, it can almost become tough. Oh, OK. So the, the yoghurt for me is the best thing that when I found I'm marinating and again when you go yeah. to kind of restaurants, Turkish restaurants as well, you'll find that yoghurt is the key marinade or mm -hmm. a bit of lemon zest is also a good alternative if you want that yeah. in the flavour. So I've got the yoghurt, I've got tatla biber salt chasa, which is Turkish sweet red pepper paste which I use a lot. I've got garlic, so minced or finely grated. I've got some paprika and spoke, smoked paprika, so two different flavour profiles mm -hmm. here. One sweet and smoky and one slightly hotter. So I've got both going in. And smoked paprika isn't used as commonly in Turkish Cypriot wow. cuisine. Is it not? But I love the flavour it gives to that kind of sweetness mm. it gives and subtlety. I've got my favourite pul biber, Aleppo pepper or Turkish red pepper flake. I bought that. Have you got that? I bought that last you, time. I think she gave me some of that last yeah. time. Yeah, it's, it's a, so it's good. A it's a key ingredient, so I give it to everyone. Bit of pomegranate molasses. You, you're just going to paprika and then you, you just a little drop in a little bit of Turkish cypri as well. Like I love it. Like I love it when you do that. The thing is for me is is I've grown up saying you know. Pull me bed. Not she says. So yeah. it's, it comes naturally to yeah. me. But yeah. obviously, I want to tell you exactly what it is in English as well. So when you're in a supermarket, yeah. you know what you're looking <laughs> exactly. for. You know, you can't go up, I guess, to the supermarket attendant and say, Can I have some tatla biber salt chasa? They might, <laughs> they might not, yeah, kind of get what you're looking oh, for. Oh, so. five. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got some dried oregano. I put some salt in there as well. Cumin, lovely earthy balance with the sweet spices and the hot spices that you get from you cumin. You can taste all the layers in it. You there is totally. so much going on in there. Oh, I'm so pleased. And that's to do with the marinating time yeah. as well. And the last ingredient was that nadek shisir, the pomegranate molasses. So you mix that marinade up really, really, really well. You get a lovely paste. And I'm going to put this on the chicken wings and then show you one I made earlier. What's later. the minimum marinate? time? I would say four hours. Okay. A minimum, but overnight is the way to do it. So if you leave this in the fridge overnight, because the marinade penetrates into the skin yeah. rather than just, or into the flesh, sorry, not just onto the skin. You want to taste the marinade in All the, the meat. Through, yeah. yeah. Otherwise you're just eating plain chicken with a crispy marinated yeah. skin. Yeah. So once you've kind of stirred that up to get it really, really well like this. Your fridge just got loads of stuff like this in it. All loads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. The kids are like, Mum, can I just have a slice of cheese while I <laughs> pulling, like, the tartar <laughs> bibber sultras and everything back. But they love it too, you know, they, they enjoy these flavours, they eat really well because they've been exposed yeah. to so many different flavours and, and cuisines as yeah, well, which is really so nice. Yeah, important, that. And they always... We all love wings, but could you do this with thighs and drumsticks as well? 100%. Yeah. So we're doing wings because they're nice and quick and easy to cook. And good on a um, barbecue. Fantastic on a barbecue. So once you've mixed that all up together, mm. they go... In a tray like this, you can cook them on the rack, you can cook them on the barbecue, under the grill, but I'm going to cook them in the oven at 180 mm -hmm. for about 35 to 40 minutes and I turn up the heat towards the end. And while they cook... And you don't have to turn them over or anything. I don't, get no. There, so. I mean, you can if you want to. If you feel like they're catching on the top, you, can, you kind of got to trust your judgement a yeah. little bit. If you feel like they're catching, can flip them over. And that turn up, is that just to give them a nice little brown at the end? Exactly. Um, and I've got here the side dish that we're going to serve with okay, it. And this yeah, is this. my this favourite. Is so nice. I'm so pleased you enjoy it. Because it's, it's a really traditional rice dish wow. that my kids call oh. nene's rice. Really <laughs> delicate. Yeah, really light and soft. So mm. it starts off by frying off... I fried off some vermicelli, Durham wheat vermicelli. So this has gluten in it. But you can also use rice vermicelli, but you just have to toast that a lot slower. Otherwise, you end up with, like, puffed... Strands of rice, that puffed rice. Right. So that takes us kind of slightly longer, but you can use that if you're keeping a gluten-free diet. Do you 
Do you boil the vermicelli first? No, no boiling, frying. So I've got some so oil in there. You fry so it as it, as it comes dried. Yeah. Exactly. So dried hot oil in a pan, then you fry off the vermicelli until it's like a dark golden brown colour. And don't be alarmed, it will be slightly darker than you think it needs to be because then it lightens up again when it boils with the rice. I let that cool down before adding the washed, easy cook long grain rice. Now, some people say, oh, you're cheating using easy cook long grain. No, I just want it to be full yeah, you're through. Whole, you're, so... Your whole uh, MO is a real cop out, mate. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, ready meals. 82 hour marinade. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's a sellout. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy cook long Thank grain. <laughs> rice is not cheating. No, so I'm just all. putting that out there. The disclaimer. It just means that the, rain, the grains of rice have been part cooked already, so it's less susceptible to kind of turn mushy. So once you've got the rice in the pan and the stove isn't turning on, so we're going to try this one over here. What is giving that rice such an amazing flavour? It's a toasted vermicelli. So you is that do that. Yeah, it's, and it's also. Some stock. So I'm going in there with some chicken stock, and that boils up oh. in chicken stock. And That's of course, so nice. Velvet, because just right, uh, just salt doesn't give it the same effect. So I've got chicken. You can use vegetable stock yeah. and a good knob of butter. And you stir that in, and then you just let that cook really slowly. You can pop the lid on and can you never cook, cook slowly. Rice. I, need, I need to cook more rice. Do you know I, what? I, I do don't either. But I never just do rice right to the side. This is just a brilliant side dish, a dollop yeah. of yogurt. And once it cooks down, what it does look like afterwards, and I'm going to take this off, and I've got mm. a sheet of paper on here. I'm going to eat that on its own. Kitchen oh, it's paper so is, and this soaks up any steam. excess steam exactly, which gives you a lovely, light, fluffy kind of texture to the rice. I'll show you here. I haven't got a fork. So if you fluff that up like that, oh, yeah, yeah. it's just... And you can smell that chicken stock, can't you? The it's really lovely delicious. Butter. And look, endless grains of rice like that. Mm. And so by the time you've made your lovely rice, you should be able to go to the oven. In Turkish and, and Turkish sip of cooking, Elise, is, is rice basically the go-to side dish? Always. Yeah. Always the go-to side dish, a dollop of yoghurt and rice, and you are happy. And then just to finish the chicken off, I've got some olive oil. I've got some honey and some more pomegranate molasses. And the reason I don't add the pomegranate molasses and the honey to the marinade, I've got a little bit of pomegranate molasses in there, is because they've got a high kind of sugar content, which means that they might burn, burn too burn. much, right. yeah. So, so you're just putting this over like a dressing right at the end? Exactly. So whisk that all it's up it's together. That layer upon layer of mm. flavour, like as you're biting into it, you just get another bit exactly. and then another bit. Brush it on those lovely chicken wings. Oh, my goodness. Even I'm salivating I know. <laughs> it's really, really amazing. And then beautiful, sticky chicken wings with that lovely rice. Well, these are so good. Do you ever just make cheese on toast when you're at home? Yes, of course you? I do. Is, that, is, it, is it impossible? Do you with like... Pull the bed and tuck the bed. There we go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, my version of it. Please. Thank Pleasure. you. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> uh, details of today's recipe, more delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free This Morning app, of course. Great.